Okay, stayed the night in Bend in a pretty run-down motel, I guess you can call it. Man, pretty bad and very expensive. I'm trying to find a, a place to stay in Bend right now is absolutely crazy. So I got this house sitting uh, gig in California, in Dunlop, California. It has a bunch of flies in here. And uh, I'm going to take off down there, go to California. I hopefully can make it in two days. And uh, it's a yoga retreat that they're fixing up. So we'll go check it out and see. I'll be there for about four weeks, uh, hiking, running, do some uh, biking around there as well. Let's go check it out. Okay, leaving Bend, leaving that uh, low-end motel. Very expensive though. But uh, luckily for the next four weeks, I'll have rent-free got a caretake uh, piece of property but right now uh, it's 14 hours uh, taking 395 I'm gonna avoid I-5 it only saves me two hours and I'd prefer not on this bike uh, traveling at high speeds for a very long time so what I got to do is stop once I get a little bit outside of town here I'm gonna stop for some gas maybe grab me some coffee canned coffee and a packaged donuts and then probably stop somewhere around Reno I'm expecting or Lake Tahoe try to find a hotel if I can't I'll find a campground for the night and then I uh, should be able to get to the place I'm heading Dunlap by Saturday late afternoon I'm hoping okay I uh, I've just passed through Lapine that's the last Biggish city. It's more like a little town. Uh, probably all the way until I hit Reno. I've got, uh, what is that, 13 hours, 34 minutes to go. 707 miles. You can see, I don't know if it's going to show up very well on the camera, but um, there's a lot of smoke. A lot of smoke today. And there's actually, it's quite cloudy. And I saw on the news this morning, the local news, they said that it actually, they might get some scattered showers out here. Their Eastern Oregon is kind of in a heat wave right now. And just like many other places in the world where they have, you know, extreme hot weather like that, they'll get these thunder showers that just kind of move in in the, in the middle of the afternoon. They dump for about an hour, pour down rain, and then get sunny again. So I might have to stop and put on my rain gear for the first time. I'm not really sure though. We'll have to just wait and see. Okay, let's continue on. There's no other traffic on this road. It's in the middle of nowhere. I think it's 31, Highway 31. Absolutely gorgeous out here though. Beautiful country. Wow, look at this hidden valley. This is the most relaxing ride ever. Of crater volcano in the middle of the Christmas Valley lake bed. Yeah, it's a pretty nice uh, recreation area where people come to enjoy the outback. Someday I'd actually like to go hiking up there or camping in the actual Castle Rock. bunch of bugs splatter on my screen you can't see it but I need to pull over eventually and clean my visor because I'm there's so much bug guts all over it I can't even really see out my visor anymore but the weather is really nice right now oh my gosh it's just so comfortable riding 
the sun is uh, directly in front of me, but I do have a sun visor, so that really helps. And it isn't really a problem right now because the sun is so high. I just left Lakeview, which is pretty much the last major, I mean, there's Susanville going south of here on 395, but Lakeview is really the last stop for restaurants and stuff like that. So I stopped by Jerry's, our Aries, because they're missing the J on the sign. Uh, nice little Hispanic run business diner, Greasy Spoon. They serve breakfast out all day. Uh, so I stopped there on the way up and decided I'd stop on the way back because I didn't get sick when I ate there the first time. They got reasonable prices. I mean, it's kind of a, a dive, but you know, it's a good place to stop. And they got a big wide open parking lot with a lot of windows so you can see your bike when it's parked out there. Highly recommend it if you're riding through. I'm going to talk to a truck driver, ask him how the road was and how long it would take to get to Reno from here. He said about four hours. So I should be able to make it by six o'clock or seven o'clock tonight, maybe eight. If I do quite a few maybe two to three stops. Shake the vibration out of my hands, my legs. Okay, I was on 395. I don't know if you can see my phone. 395 headed south. And Google all of a sudden wants me to take 299. And there goes a sheriff. So, let's see where uh, 299 still goes to Reno. So let's see, uh, takes us. I still got 10 hours, 30 minutes, 521 miles to go. So this is definitely a route that I've not taken before. Explain the smell. Oh my god, it must have dropped like 10 degrees. It's gravel. I need to find somewhere to stop so I can fix my phone. But yeah, it's uh, the temperature has dropped. It smells absolutely amazing out here. It's almost like perfume. It's so strong. It just smells like you know really good trees. turnout maybe I could stop up here whoa that's a little bit on the gravelly side you think after all that off-roading I did that I'd be used to it by now Okay, I need a nice solid pack spot to stop. Maybe right here. Okay. Modoc National Forest. Okay, now I gotta readjust my phone. This charger here. It works, and I can see that it's on. Sometimes it like clicks off. I don't know if the connection is just really minor and it just can't get enough of a charge off it, but it doesn't really seem to charge my phone. So anyway, I'm gonna muck around. I have a battery in here which is fully charged, so I'll just use that. Okay, I got my phone charged into my battery. Now it's just a matter of riding still have uh, 10 hours and 22 minutes to make it to Dunlop, California, but I should be stopping in Reno. Whoa, that guy just totally swerved into my lane. Yeah, that'll be a, something to share with Dustin. Yeah, 
hopefully there'll be somewhere to get gas. Getting near, uh, what is it, 123 miles. Okay, I'm in Surprise Valley. Uh, Cedarville, looks like. I'm gonna get some gas. Well, I just stopped at uh, the gas station, filled up, and I met another uh, an ADV rider. And he said, which way are you headed? I said, I'm going... Take the next right onto Main Street. I'm going to California. He says, are you going through the desert or are you going through Main Street? I said, I think Google is taking me through Main Street. He's like, oh, good. <laughs> and um, that's a cool little, uh, cool little place. And he says, there he is up there. He says he's staying at a, right out here at a campground, and there's a big old ADV rally taking place. Kressler, I think this is what this place is called. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty old town, not much here. Maybe something to check out later. Maybe come back this way. But if you said you take 299 and you keep going through town, you're gonna head into the desert and that's where it gets kind of brutal, I guess. At least this time of year. He said the next gas station should be about um, 100 miles out this way. So I should have enough gas to make it. Reno 188. So far on this road, I've seen a deer cross the road, and I just saw a cougar cross the road, and then doubled back across the road before I got there. He saw me coming and like said, oh, I'm going to hightail it back where he came from, which is unique because uh, the deer, they'll typically go in one direction, and they don't turn around, and they don't double back. It was strange to see the cougar do that. They definitely behave differently than than deer. But yeah, there's a lot of wildlife on this road. I'm really kind of hope I don't hit anything. So that's gonna really hurt. This is Eagleville. Really green here. A lot of horses, a lot of cows. It smells like horses and cows too. Amazing mountains. farming, rural community. Okay, I'm leaving Gerlach. Just had some dinner and some coffee to kind of relax a little bit. I got 200 more miles to go uh, to Reno. Going through the Paiute Reservation, looks like. And I uh, just left Bruno's. It's like a famous kind of cafe. Here in Gerlach. He's dead now. I parked in his spot. If you look at the photo that I'm going to post in the video. But that's known for uh, speed racing out here, I guess, somewhere. Uh, throughout the decades, people would come out here and try to break uh, speed records somewhere. And Bruno's was the place they, place they would stop. I guess I should also be careful. Some guys are just telling me at the bar that. A uh, guy on a Harley wrecked it just right outside of town on some loose gravel. Uh, had to go to the hospital, his bike is wrecked. But yeah, let's do it 200 more miles. Let's see if we can pull it off. If I can get there by about 7 or 8, got a hotel room. Rest up and then head out in the morning for Dunlap. I don't know if you can hear my voice because the wind is so strong right here. I've had to drop my speed down to 55 miles an hour. I don't know if you can see my Google Maps on here. This road is straight forever. And uh, wow, 
wow, this wind is just crazy strong. Like, I'm, this is the strongest wind I've ever felt. Stronger than the Salinas Valley or those gusts of wind uh, in Marin County going over the Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, this is bad. And this is like, this road is forever. I'm gonna have to, if I'm gonna have to fight this thing the whole way, I'm gonna be exhausted by the time I get to the end of it. Okay, I'm about, I don't know, maybe another couple hours to Reno. Um, it was interesting, I was driving down that, or riding down that one valley. Um, I'll put it in the description, and it's in California, and it's nice and green and lush. And as soon as you cross the state border into Nevada, boom! It's like desert like this, it's crazy. Um, as far as you can see, so it looks like some kind of, some kind of valley or something, but yeah, it's quiet out here. I, have, I saw like one truck pass me. I saw this sign out here. It looks like you buy some property or something. And this advertisement here, this is shotgun blast. So someone got that guy good. Three chest shots right there. But yeah, I think that's for this property that's out this way somewhere. Oregon has a lot in the eastern Oregon, a lot of property like this too, where you can buy some and use it for hunting. It says that's a Duck Lake Loop. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. So my phone kind of died, so I had to, it freaked out. So I just stopped right here on the side of the road, charged it into my battery again. Got a drink of water, I'm gonna head on. Hopefully I'll make Reno soon. Let's see what happens.